My name is Edward Buck. I'm the VP of Services and Support at United Layer. You know, in a typical private cloud, you're going to have a firewall, you're going to have a switch, you're going to have, you might have a load balancer, and you're going to have some servers and perhaps storage. How do you make that highly available? Um, so let's start with the firewall. So, and actually, the same applies in many of these devices. Is you need if one of them goes down having another one there to take its place. So setting up high availability ultimately is about having redundant uh, everything, or as much as you can. So with the firewall, you'd have a redundant firewall. You have two of them set up in an HA setup. It may actually, you know, there's software running on these firewalls to, to make it maybe look like one, but it's actually two. And if one fails, the other one picks it up. Uh, with the load balancer, uh, you would have a second load balancer. For switches, you would have multiple switches. There's something called switch stacking, which allows you to take two switches and present them as a single switch, like a single logical switch. You know, every server will have typically, in a non-HA environment, will have a single connection to a switch. And so even if your switches are HA, it doesn't really help if you only have one connection to a server. right? And so what you can do, though, is to actually set up bonding of NICs on your servers where you have you know, two NICs on your servers and one goes to one switch and the other goes to the other switch. And they're bonded together so that they appear as a single logical interface. Um, and in that situation, you actually do get, you know, if they're one gig NICs, you actually do get the throughput potentially of both NICs together, which is two gigs. So there's an added benefit of additional throughput. A SAN will typically have uh, either one or two controllers, and if you want HA, you want to ensure that you have two controllers, so that if the controller uh, on the SAN dies, all of the, you know, especially for a SAN, if all of the servers are actually using the SAN for storage, you want to make sure that a single controller failure does not result in an outage. And then there's power. Uh, power outages do happen. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's the utility, but sometimes it's actually downstream of the utility. So the, perhaps it's the UPS, um, or let's say, you know, with a utility outage, the UPS fails, or maybe the, uh, the panel uh, a breaker causes an outage, or the PDU, or maybe the power supply fails. And so for any of these devices, you want to ensure that you have power redundancy. If one of the power circuits does go out, the other one can handle the entire load of what you have in that rack. So actually, you don't want the power circuits on both sides fully utilized. You actually want it to be probably half utilized in an HA setup so that when one circuit dies, it fails over properly, and the other circuit actually has capacity to power all those devices.